1561 and 1584 AM online and in stereo on digital radio. Tayside and Fife's Tay AM. The headlines this hour arrest after body finding hunt for missing T is sharp. To council to take down like buildings and done DNA territory signs geared up for weekend's football action. Good morning, there are questions about the police investigation into the disappearance of schoolgirl Tia Sharp after officers found a body at the home of her gran. The house in South London had been searched several times. Stuart Hazel, a partner of Tia's gran, has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Former commander of Scotland Yard's flying squad, John O'Connor, isn't impressed. There was enough suspicion there for them to have searched that premises properly and I don't think there's any excuse for it. I, I'd be much more impressed if the senior officer at the Yard apologised, said, look, you know, we got it wrong we should have searched it we didn't want to upset everybody that's why we didn't do it properly the cost of a loaf of bread is expected to rise after droughts in the u.s cause wheat prices to rocket maize crops have been devastated in the country causing a dramatic increase in demand prices rose by a third in just one month in both london and paris there's, cautious, there's a cautious welcome to news Dundee City Council's to resurrect a group to look at derelict buildings. The local authority says it's responding to an increase in concerns raised by the public. A party will use formal powers to encourage owners to improve properties. But Dundee councillor Fraser McPherson says although that's good news, there needs to be momentum. I do think we really need to see real action on the issue of derelict buildings. Uh, constituents regularly complain to me about particularly historical buildings, for example, Queen Victoria Mill in the West End Ward, that are falling into disrepair. And I really do think the local authority has to take real action on issues like this. A St Andrews man says he's got a charity to thank for helping make his stepson's dream come true. 